tell us about some of the projects you're working on here and where have you actually deployed capital this year? I'm curious to understand a bit more about where you see some of the best bets playing out at the moment. So, first of all, we're here in Abu Dhabi to announce the launch of Integrated Data Intelligence, which is our new uh, AI-driven uh, center and hub here in, in the country. We're going to be investing about $60 million uh, in this over the next several years. We're going to be building our team from four to 60 people. We're getting support from ADIO, the Abu Dhabi Investment Office. We're just delighted because this represents, I think, the next step in the whole Abraham Accords coming together. It's not just about trading and buying and one investing in the other, but it's about building things together. And we're going to be developing core AI technology, which really is the cutting edge that feeds all of our companies across many different sectors, and doing it here, recruiting talent globally to come here to Abu Dhabi. And I'm, I'm very excited that this is the next step. In terms of what we're investing in, look, I like food tech, okay? I've always liked food. <laughs> My mother will attest to that. <laughs> um, may her soul rest in peace. Uh, but the, the reality is that I think there's going to be a, a real revolution. We just hit 8 billion people in the world. We need to feed them, okay? But we need to create alternative protein. We need to reduce sugar. We need to figure out ways how to use less water. There's no water. So this food agro area, again, relative to COP27, is, is critical. And Israel has unbelievable technology here. More money was invested in Israel than any other country in alternative protein last year other than the U.S., more than the entire European Union combined. So you take that and you start bringing some of that technology here, okay, yeah. into the Gulf, where food security is a big issue, where regulatory uh, matters are, 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 are much more, call it, adept at dealing with new realities. I think you could create significant progress. We're focused on healthcare. We believe that what AI is doing in healthcare is extraordinary. We have companies that are preventing prescription errors companies that are interpreting uh, medical imaging. Um, we're very committed to financial services. There's a company here was an, uh, just announced that is building a center in uh, UAE called Theteray, mm -hmm. who are working on sanctions enforcement, using AI to catch the bad guys and, and uh, preventing uh, uh, AML and KYC violations. So really AI goes across the area I believe very strongly mm. that this decade is going to be incredible in terms of tech investment prices are down valuations are down I know that bothers many viewers in terms of their public stock portfolio guys like me we get excited mm. quick question before we let you go BB Netanyahu the man who started Tech Nation in your mind good for business uh, I think that he's going to be solid for business first of all he was the architect of the original Abraham Accords with our neighbors on the geopolitical level, I think there's going to be continuity and good relations uh, as a result of this government. But more importantly, on the economic front, he's an MIT grad. He's been very focused on growing Israel's economy. I think he's a safe pair of hands. And I think a lot of the noise about the constitution of his government, give the guy a chance, let him form. We finally have a government, <laughs> which should last for four years. Says a lot that for kind Israel. of stability should be very good for the economy and good for the region.